I'm Ron Patterson with Utah State University Extension in Weber and Morgan Counties. Weeds do not recognize property boundaries and so they really are everybody's problem. Today's weed warrior topic is puncture vine or goat head. The puncture vine fruit is this large capsule and it breaks apart into five different goat heads that are kind of a caltrop shape structure that will poke into your shoe, into your finger, into your tires, give you flat bicycle tires, and each one of these capsules is three to five seeds, and uh, they germinate throughout the summer. The main thing is to control goat head, you've got to keep these from getting onto the ground. So the seeds that come out of these capsules, they are viable in the soil for up to five years. So after about five or six years, if you've been very diligent about keeping that from going to seed on your property, as long as you're not introducing new seeds onto the property, you will have that puncture vine under control. The cotyledon of the puncture vine is very distinctive. It has this ridge or valley groove that goes right down the middle of the cotyledon or the seed leaf. The first true leaf that comes out has that typical feathered puncture vine look to it. Puncture vine is a low growing, spreading or sprawling annual plant. It has these long vines but it does not root along this vine. It just spreads out a long ways. It has a yellow flower and a pinnately compound leaf that are the leaves are opposite each other on the stem. It's got a tap root and so all you have to do really to kill a plant is to separate the top of the plant from the tap root. So part of the problem with with controlling puncture vine is that it germinates throughout the summer. It doesn't matter how hot it gets. It doesn't like the cold at all. If it gets a frost that will kill it. But it will germinate throughout the summer it only takes about three weeks to go from germinated seedling to a flowering plant. It's very quick and so you really need to stay on top of it. Your control efforts can't just be once and done kind of a thing. You've got to do it throughout the summer. Every couple weeks go out and do your controls, pull your weeds, whatever it is you're going to do. Now if you have a lot of seeds in the, in the ground and you want to pick some of those up to kind of eliminate or reduce the amount of seedlings you're going to get, you can use a soft material a piece of styrofoam or, or even a, a piece of carpet, an old piece of carpet. Put that down on the, wherever your puncture vine is and walk on that or roll something around on it. Pick it up. When you're done, throw it away and then those seeds are gone. So then you have fewer germinating seedlings. Puncture vine usually gets established in areas where it's been compacted like along the sides of roads, in construction sites, new homes that are being built in corrals and, and roping arenas, but it also can get established here in pastures. It usually comes in on the roadways where you come in off from the field with your equipment or the animals are trailing in, that kind of an area. And so good pasture management is very important for puncture vine control. Let the pasture grow properly, don't overgraze it. Also, puncture vine is toxic to sheep. So what are the control options we have? As in all cases, prevention is always the best option, the best control that we have, and so do everything you can to keep the seeds from getting put onto your place. Watch the tires. If you've been driving on off-road places where there's puncture vine, check your tires or your vehicle. If you've been walking, go for a walk along the side of the road where there's puncture vine, check your shoes. Always check to see if you're bringing those seeds back onto your place. In the cases where you have it already or it just has to show up, shows up on your property, you can dig it up, pull it up. That's the best uh, non-chemical option that we have for these annual weeds, especially puncture vine. But make sure if it's got any of those caltrops or seed pods on them, you throw it away. Because of its low growing, matty nature, puncture vine does not respond well to mowing. You, you can't mow it up. But there are some non-chemical options. The easiest and best for all annual weeds, if you can get to it, is to pull it up and throw it away. But there are some other options as well. A propane torch that you can spread, spray or uh, flame onto the seedlings will control those, but it won't control the seeds. And then another option is solarization. A thick mulch placed on top of where your puncture vine has been coming up will also help to keep it under control. There are some biological controls that uh, work on puncture vine. They survive down in the St. George area, but we haven't found a strain yet that will survive in northern Utah. So the option would be then to bring it in every year and there's, there are some entities that do that. They'll bring that the stem weevil and the seed weevil 
in and let it onto the places where there's puncture vines. It helps, but they don't survive, and so you don't get them carried over from one year to the next. Now, herbicide options would include for the homeowner a pre-emergent type product such as Treflan or Sonalan or Bonalan, any one of those type of products help, but they're not 100% control, but they would help to control it. Just keep in mind that uh, it creates a chemical barrier. If you disturb the soil, you break that chemical barrier, so you have to put it down again. So that's an option. Spray options for a homeowner, again, would be 2,4-D or, or dicamba, Banville type product. Those need to be done when the temperature is not going to be hot. Roundup, of course, is a non-selective herbicide, and that will also work. There are a lot of herbicides that will kill puncture vine. The problem is it's germinating throughout the summer, so you have to do it over and over and over again. Uh, for a pasture type situation, Telar or, or Perspective would be a, a good product to use in that type of a situation. So check your labels, check your information on herbicides. I will have information on herbicides that have been researched and, and uh, on the, in the description part down at the bottom of the video, but that's uh, some of the options we have as far as the chemical approach. The problem with spraying puncture vine and then just leaving it there is that if you get it too late in its growth, you will leave the goat heads lying there and then they'll get stuck in your shoe and you carry that and spread the seeds to another location. So puncture vine is controllable, but it will take several years of diligent effort on everybody's part to get this weed under control. Be a good neighbor. Be a weed warrior.